Okay, this is part three of the uh, General Electric Radio Chassis Transplant Revisited from 1983. I've gone ahead and completed the wiring. I didn't want to do it all on camera because it gets monotonous. Now I know this filter capacitor was bad. I've already tried the radio when it was in the original case and it just hums but you can hear modulation. This I'm going to keep for the spare tubes. Like I said, I did try to put a different capacitors on it and I blew the board someplace. Not really sure exactly where. I tried the two resistors where I saw the smoke come out. And just didn't have any luck. It also looks like I must have reoriented the ferrite antenna bracket. So I'll have to do that. I can see it's bent and I must have just bent it the other way. So I'm going to turn the set on. Now one of the nice features is this has a concentric tuning capacitor control and volume control in one knob. It's a really unique feature, which was why I had to keep the original mechanical controls. modulating but with the tuning with the uh, filter capacitor bad you can't hear anything well this is for retro chat I have the cabinet with the clock and if yours was chipped or anything this really is in pretty good shape it was almost a shame to do this to this radio because this radio sometimes sells for like fifty dollars on eBay. If you're interested and willing to give me your uh, shipping address, I'll give you the tuning capacitor and volume control for free because I know you have the same exact radio and your tuning capacitor is bad. Or I can send you the whole cabinet as well.